Hey guys, do not use these motor oil filters. People are using Fram oil filters, cat oil filters, for suppressors. Now, is it safe to use an engine oil filter for a suppressor on your super soaker? Quote unquote. People are using these solvent traps with an adapter. And also, does it even work? Now yes, it's been proven time and time again it is effective, it drops the decibel reading, lowers it quite a bit, but it's also been proven that after use, that it really doesn't, is it safe? It's also proven to cause some issues with your gun the more you use it. You'll make sure and contact your uh, firearm expert, and don't forget, is it legal? Well, this is where it gets a little bit sticky. You're gonna need to reach out to the ATF, fill out a special form, and pay your taxes on this. That's right. Now, people are going out, ordering a lot of parts from Alibaba and some of these other sites, and going through a third part, party of sorts, you know, and this is what's probably gonna happen if you're not careful, if you don't do things by the book. Do not be surprised if someone from Homeland Security comes knocking on your door, asking you questions, wanting to check you out. So you better make sure that you have your proper paperwork and paid your taxes because they are not playing around with this stuff. They take it very seriously, especially with everything that's going on today. Don't get yourself caught in prison for something stupid. A guy went to prison about 2012 for making a suppressor without doing the proper paperwork and you don't want that to be you guys. If you have any information that you can share, please do so. And as I said, make sure you contact a firearms expert before going any further with this. Thanks for watching. Nate's Interactive Auto.